They cross over the Gulf of Aqaba. Mm -hmm. They end up in what today is Saudi Arabia. Exactly. Over here is Jabal al Laws. The, world, got the highest mountain in northwest Saudi Arabia, and it's all black, the top I half. I have pictures of it here. Galatians 4 tells us Sinai is in Arabia. Mm -hmm. There's a picture of it. You've been up here? Well, I didn't go all the way up because I didn't have enough time, but I got pictures of me at the base of it. Yeah. And there's a cave in the very center, and that's where Elijah went, to that cave. Put borders up. Borders but up, yeah. he made, get this, it's one verse that says, and I got it in chapter 24 of Exodus, he said, when he got up early in the morning, after he, he Yahweh yelled the Ten Commandments, and then he went up there and got three chapters of judgment, 30, 21, 22, and 23 of Exodus. This time he came down, and it says he rose up in the morning and built an altar under the hill and 12 pillars for the 12 tribes. I've got one, and that scripture paints a picture. I've got a picture, and if you would have told me, I got it on my iPad over there. Yeah. There's an altar right below the hill with the cave in the center of the hill and nine pillars this round, about this high, different, and they're solid white marble. heavy. I couldn't budge a single one. Couldn't deadlift any one of them to lift them up. But there's only nine. But they're perfectly round, and there's no human in sight. This is called the wilderness. De Mount Horeb means Mount Desolate. It's desolate out there. Nobody there. To this day, nobody's really there. Now, there's only nine pillars, perfectly chiseled. Why aren't there 12? Well, Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh always lived for the next 700 years before the Assyrians got away on that side of the river. So they probably came along and took him away. But for sure, there's nine of the 12 still there. I got pictures right there. I'm, I was just there two months ago. Now, the top of the mountain is black. Why? Because he came down in fire and yelled the Ten Commandments. And the, you take the rocks off the top. They're brown on the bottom, but they're black on the, on the top, and they're white on the inside. Actually, no, it's black. Black. I got a picture. It's black. Everything else is desolate and sand covered, you know, like tan, except for that mountain right there. The thing is black. So there's also a rock down there with a calf on it. Yeah. Tell it. What do you know about that? Okay, well, they got a sign. And in, in, in 13, today it's of uh, 1440, according to their calendar. And they started doing the calendar around with 600. Muhammad. Muhammad, yeah, around yeah. 600 AD. So they're in year 1440. But in 1436, they blocked off that. that there you go. You got the, the fence, fence right yep. there. They put a fence, triangular fence around these big boulders that have petroglyphs of, you know, calves on them and stuff like that that you find all over Egypt like that. But they don't want anybody there because that proves the Bible. So they have fences them, and it's punishable and all this kind of stuff. Oh, I've got the pictures of the sign and everything. In the well, I'll add them to my PowerPoint. Yeah, here. yeah. Now, God told Moses to stand before the on the rock and smite the rock that water would come out. Mm -hmm. Most of the Bible, little pictures in the back of kids' Bible show a little trickle of water coming out. you got two million people, plus their sheep and cows, you're going to water mm -hmm. with a trickle of... I don't think so. Okay. No, I went there. There it's, it is. There's the there rock. There it is. There's the it's rock. Over, it's got to be four, over 40 feet, and I'm standing there, and I walked right through the middle of it. I can fit through the middle of it. Yeah, you can fit through there. Okay. So that's where the rock split in half and water came pouring out. And you can see the erosion marks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, and that's on the way from the Red Sea to Mount Sinai. See, that's the back side of Mount Sinai, the west side. you got to go on the east side was a big plain where two million people can camp out for a year while they build the tabernacle in the wilderness. Yeah. But there it is, just big as day right in there. Still there. Now, so the skeptics will say, what about the Bible has been proven? I'm not aware of anything in the Bible that's been disproven. Right. And the Bible is the one that says, prove all things, hold fast that which is true. Yeah. You know, experience is the best teacher. When you get burned, you get learned. <laughs> that's how, you know, I'm not going to learn, okay? You've learned so, a few things the hard way in your yeah. life? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, oh, me too. Yeah. Like I tell people, I could be wrong. I was wrong in 68. You know, but it takes a man to admit when you're wrong, and I was wrong in 68. And try Back never in 68? Yeah. I think uh, you skeptics that say nothing about the Bible has been proven true, I think uh, you explain that rock to us, okay? Yeah. It's explain amazing. the pillars at the side of the sea. But Isaiah <laughs> said there'd be a pillar on the Egyptian side, not the Saudi side, okay. and it's there to this day. 